Welcome back everyone. I know it's been a long few weeks, but Dirk Blade is not dead. I didn't end my channel. It's just been a very busy schedule with work and college and a lot of birthdays around my life. But today I have a day off and it's perfect time to talk about another Beyblade Burst Quad Strike episode. We are at episode 20. I know it's been months since it came out, but I'm going to talk about it now. If you weren't interested in watching this show, maybe I will convince you to be interested. So, we start off. Debell and Iger are going to have a champion match. If you don't know, Iger is the champion. And Bell's challenging him, or maybe Iger challenged Bell, I don't remember. But, yeah, so they're, they're going to battle, and Iger... They're going to battle, and basically the beginning is just them kind of prepping up. Or, like, Iger's confident that he's going to win. He's t he tells his family that. And Bell's confident that he's going to win. He he doesn't even, like, do any extra training, just like his usual. So let's get to the battle, because that's really the most interesting part. The beginning was kind of just boring. And the first battle... It goes off, well, honestly, kind of surprising. So they use their moves or whatever, and then Bell and Bellfire comes out, and he uses his base spirit and attacks Iger. And then Iger does the same thing with Achilles. So Achilles and Bellfire are clashing, but quickly after, Bellfire bursts. I didn't expect that. So... Iger has two points in the battle is first to three. At this point, Bell needs knows he needs to go full power, and Iger is the same way. He's like, I was holding back, you know, that that bull crap that they say that they were holding back. So we go to the second battle, and they launch. Bell gives it all he got, and you won't believe it. But, I could burst Bell again. Can you believe it? 4 to 0. I was shocked. Bell was trash compared to Iger. So, yeah, Iger w definitely won that. He wiped the floor with Bell. And Bell, well. Usually, Bell doesn't get too upset about losing, but this one got to him. One, he could have been champion if he won. You could have, you can just tell by looking in his eyes when he lost that battle. And Iger told him that he's not battling like his usual self or something. Bell's just upset. He runs away. And he talks to Bellfire. And Bell, Bell's like, we were so close. And Bellfire's like, no, we weren't. We lost four to zero. And then they have a bonding moment where they both realize they know the one thing they have to do to win. And that would be to evolve Bellfire. You hear me right. Bell is going to evolve Bellfire and maybe even challenge Iger again, but he needs to get stronger. And if he can't be Iger, who can he be? So, and he actually goes to Iger's dad's workshop with his permission, of course, to make the new Achilles. I mean, Bellfire. What the heck? So, yeah, at the end of the episode, we see that Destin Bellfire has been created. It looks really cool, honestly. And I guess we'll find out what it does. And I think it has an element of all the protagonist bays. I I'm, I think. I'm not sure what they are. But like it kind of like when he was making it. It kind of showed that. But yeah that's kind of all that really happened in this episode. Not my favorite episode. I think the champion battle definitely. I know they'll battle again I'm sure. But I hope they get a better battle. Because that battle was kind of one sided. Anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this review and see you guys later because Dark Blade is out of here.